power stance. <laughs> You're coming too. What started as a dream is now our reality. Six years ago, we poured her ballast, raised every frame, cut every plank, and named her Red Aviva. Ready for life back on the ocean, this year we're determined yeah. to set sail. Would you look at that? I'd say that's the making of a fine cruising vessel. <laughs> We're Salt and Tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for joining us. I've gotten permission to go ahead and make this my sewing room so I can get started on the cushions for Red Aviva. And thank you to everybody that bought uh, some of the supplies off of our wish list. It's amazing. I think I have about everything that I need. <laughs> First step is going to be unloading all of the foam. It's all vacuum sealed and it has to inflate. I think they said like 48 hours. So I'll go ahead and get that inflating. We're camping out at my parents' place for this project where there's internet and a lot of space. Although Red Aviva's cockpit free aft deck will be perfect for future projects. Probably find a flat surface to keep these on. Let them expand for a couple days. What are you doing over here, Cricket? I'm trying to find either a rebuild kit or any information on the freshwater pump for our diesel because of the bad sound it's making. So <laughs> hopefully I can find a kit. A lot of research and studying goes on behind the scenes, from boat building to editing and now sewing. We are completely self-taught and 100% viewer supported. I learned everything from sale rights videos, which are free on YouTube, and they're not paying us to say that. Thanks to our fans, we have the freedom to be honest and stay true to ourselves. We're a few days in and scrap foam and fabric litter the floor. This morning I had a breakthrough and finally have a completed product. So apologies, I'm still in my Supernatural fan t-shirt I slept in. This is the first <laughs> official start to finish cushion cover. So have you told everyone the, the situation? No. <laughs> So Ruth's folks are out of town and we have converted their living room into a sewing room. <laughs> sewing studio. <laughs> yeah, there's our pile of cut cushions so far. There's one Ruth's working on now. And she just finished her very first cover. So moment of truth. Yeah, so the zipper is on the underside. So let me consult my notes. And then, okay, I have to separate the zipper. In front of the pulley. And then, hold that. Okay, the zipper works. <laughs> Good. That's looking pretty damn good. No crazy movement in the corner stitching. There's my sexy corner. Nice. In the top corner. Right. That looks really good. Let's see if we can get the cushion in here. So this is for the engine box. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the cool, really cool tricks that I saw was you wrap it in this, it's called silk film or whatever, but then you leave just a small opening on one side and you plug a shot back up to it. 
and it just shrinks the foam back down. So it makes it really easy to get in the cushion. So let's give it a go. So we got a bit of a roll reversal here. Ruth is uh, has decided she wants to take the lead on uh, sewing all the cushions and um, neither one of us know anything about sewing. So she's taking the time to learn everything and breaking out our new sewing machine and Ruth has all the essentials. <laughs> 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 Do you want me to bring the shot back over there so we can just shot back it there? <laughs> oh no! It's reinflating! <laughs> it's reinflating! Huh. Oh wow. Would you look at that? I'd say that cushion fits damn near perfect, Ruth. Is a cushion. Swab's hair is already on it. Inevitable. <laughs> Look at that. That's a damn cushion, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really good. <laughs> like, that looks really damn good. Thank you. Your very first cushion ever. It fits. Like, <laughs> awesome. It's not wrinkly or anything. The corners look awesome. <laughs> That's nice. Oh wait, my supplies. <laughs> mm. Alright, one down. Let's see if I can fix the one I messed up. <laughs> this was the first one, the dinette one. And it's with the other fabric that we got. So it's striped. And I think it was just giving me a headache trying to make it all fit. So I have to think about how I'm gonna fix it. Uh, next cushion. And Ruth is now tracing out for the, what's the stuff on the bottom called? The underlining. Underlining. The bottom. It took a fresh start and better notes to overcome my mistakes and frustrations. This is certainly not a how-to video, just my experience and hopefully a couple laughs as we figure it out. Oh, hi, Swab. Made your marks quarter inch in yeah. from everything, and now you're. That's my cut line. Cool. One of the things that they also said was you know, there's so many different variables, and it kind of like works itself out, so don't be too persnickety about yeah. 
you know, your corners where if it doesn't, you know, match up on one corner and the other one, like you kind of make up any, you know, little wave difference or yeah, something. Yeah, that makes sense. And at first I was just using scissors, but it takes a while. So I ran out and got one of these cutting wheels and this, uh, the cutting pad and oh man, I would not do this if you've got multiple things to do without having this cutting wheel. We didn't have all the quote unquote right tools. Am I doing the right line? Yeah. <laughs> but some are worth getting to make your life easier. But that's not to say that you can't do it without them. Nice. Boom. I think that's sweet. Yeah. Right tool for the job. It always does. Yeah. Reminds me of the first time I got real chisels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, this is what it's like. Wow, woodworking is actually not that hard. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> There's always going to be the top of the line tool, but if you can't afford it, ingenuity goes a long way. So don't let it stop you. What's next? And then I, all right, our cushions aren't exactly square because it's a boat, um, but I'm getting like, I fold it in half one way, half the other way, kind of like splitting the difference of where it's at. And it just gives me a, a rough center line to meet up with the other section. But first, I'll be adding the zipper here in a second. Oh snap. This would be a bad job for me because I would obsess way too much about like perfectly measuring everything. Yeah, well even when we were practicing the other day. <laughs> so Garrett started practicing with me we got the we got it all figured out how to set it up and then Garrett just started obsessing of how straight he can get all of his lines <laughs> <laughs> and so we messed around with zigzag and different tension to get it just right folding up our material to about the thickness of our whole cushion assembly but yeah so it was one evening oh look you even got fancy you're making squares yeah I got drunk so this one's gonna be kind of hard because I don't have pins or that double-sided tape yeah we need to get some of that yeah so the zipper is a lot simpler than I don't know I thought you basically can get just a roll and then it all comes with the loose things you cut it to length and you kind of, I'll show you how I do it, but uh, yeah, then you just start it on there and the hardest part is kind of getting it even, <clears throat> but it's really not that hard. Nice. Do you perhaps want to throw the other cushion cover up to this one just to make sure it, yeah. it fits before going through the extra step with the zipper? Yeah, it's probably a good good thing. Yesterday I I stopped working because I got frustrated. <laughs> because of this bottom piece. <laughs> it already looks better than the first one. <laughs> That's the outside. It's basically let's see what looks best. Cause I also didn't mark this one. <laughs> so let's see. Which corner seems to fit better? Well, that well, looks pretty damn good, pretty I'd say. All right. And that that looks great. Spot on, too. So then the length here, maybe a smidge over. Yeah. Probably. Oh yeah. Really well, judging by the, I mean, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier too, is like, you know, this stuff would be drive me crazy. Cause like watching the videos, the, uh, all the tolerances are so like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, it's a quarter inch. Screw it. Just yeah. kind of like put it together and sew it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So this is our forward. 
So that's good. So then we leave it just shy. We can always cut it. And then this end a little bit long because I cut it shorter last time. And now I know why they left it long. I was just trying to save material. But then it made it hard when I was stitching it to actually get the zipper through through the foot of the sewing machine. So, mm -hmm. and then you'd think it'd be harder to cut. But it's not. Huh. That's it. So you just pull it out. And then through the top of the zipper, you just have to feed the face and I'm doing it backwards. So you feed it in on both sides. It's hard because they're so tiny. And that side. Got that kind of in. And I just hold it between my two fingers. And you just wiggle it a little. And there, now it's started. So then we leave that just like that. And then we sew it. I think I'll safety pin one side. Safety pin one side, boss. If I can. So basically we're sewing down the length and then we go back and forth across the bottom a little bit and then come back up and then we stop here to slide the zipper past the uh, foot of the sewing machine and then we finish showing the rest of the way and then do the same across back and forth and then cut off the excess. And then back stitch to lock it. down one side and uh, our bobbin the thread on the underside ran out. <laughs> spot when the bobbin ran out but it doesn't look too bad yeah ain't no thing the only thing i bought from sailrite was this underlining material it's breathable keeps the cushion from sliding and i can just use scissors to reveal the zipper which actually saved quite a few sewing steps i can keep it in the center it looks <laughs> even better but it has that homemade touch you know DIY. Oh, it's yeah. all the rage these days. That's what all the kids are doing. <laughs> and we'll just leave it there for now. It'll make it easier to sew. My top panel. All right. All That's right. Kind of yeah, it looks great. It's on the bottom, you never see it. Looks great. <laughs> Because I didn't have that double-sided tape and didn't want to halt progress and go out and get some, I used what I had, and a few safety pins held my top and bottom plate together so I could sew. I decided to blend a few styles together, but this is essentially a box-style cushion, which meant I only had two pieces to work with. The top piece includes all four sides of the cushion, making working with striped fabric much simpler in my opinion. I'm good. <laughs>
Open the zipper. There we go. You just in front of the pulley with your finger. All the way to the end. And then back it. And then you can. Then it works. <laughs> so that was our funky corner. But it still yeah, looks, looks totally fine. Nice and corner like. I'm starting to feel like I kind of get it. <laughs> Good. We've been doing this, what, how many days now? Um, Off and on. Like, just trying to like tackle little bits here and there. It's probably been know, like three or four days. Yeah, three or four days. Something like that. <laughs> and here I thought the week that we were house sitting, it's like, oh, we'll get it done. <laughs> My dad comes back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's one. Another one. Looks pretty damn good. Yeah. All right, let's do our vacuum thing again. And this is also supposed to help with keeping moisture out. That's a good thing on a boat. Why'd you, oh, no. why'd you flip it around? What? You're not supposed to oh, flip. You had it on the. Yeah, you had it did. oriented perfectly before. That's why you had it that way. I know. I thought about. <laughs> Do it one more time. You got it, you got to just slow down a little bit. There you go, look at that. That looks great. That looks awesome. This is a perfect fit. Forward. There it is. There's our forward dinette seat. Looks, it actually looks really nice. It looks really good. I'm curious with the the locust trim where it's gonna sit, you know? Mm-hmm. It looks awesome. Ah! And I love this fabric. Like, it was my first, like, immediate pick. But then I wasn't sure about doing everything with the stripes. And I think I'm, I'm stoked with doing the two different ones. We got just a nice neutral color. Kind of like a, a light sandy beige. And then this one is nice because it's got like a bunch of browns and some yellows in there. So 
they're supposed to be like really stain resistant and waterproof. So we'll definitely be putting those to the mm -hmm. test. Because <laughs> when you've got a taco party going, you're bound to have messes. So this is gonna hide, I think, some of that, you know, the dining table mess. There we go. All right, give us the sit test. I think, looks, I think it looks awesome. <laughs> That's really cozy. <laughs> Up next. We'll show you how we made our patterns and cut our foam, then how our first round of cushions look on board. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next week. waving that razor blade around crazy we go nice and slow. <laughs> don't talk with your hands when you have a razor blade in your it, hands it has a it has a shield yeah, yeah was it engaged have, no you have to use it <laughs> Ow. and you all think i'm saying all this stuff out loud for filming purposes but i talk to myself that's the only way i prevent myself from messing up <laughs> if i say you step out loud it concerns me <laughs> now you see how hard filming is sometimes. <laughs> so you have to be aware, but keep the camera steady. It's good, you know, for couples to roll reverse every now and then. Roll play? Yeah. <laughs> it's the rough tip of the day.